All right, guys, welcome back to BA Cars. We're here at my house again, and this is going to be a special episode, a little shorter episode, but a company hit us up, War Sign, and they want us to review this product. <laughs> this is. This is a three layer car cover. It's inflatable. Yeah. It's, it's, obviously, proof, right? it's obviously heavy. Yeah. Yeah, heavy, definitely heavy. Hell proof, um, inflatable. And there is a patent pending on this sucker. Yep. So uh, we're going to do an honest review of this thing. We're going to use either the Tesla, Subaru, the Subaru, G, the G, the Lincoln. Lincoln. And what are we going to do? Well, we're going to climb on the roof, <laughs> second story, and we're going to do a fake hell storm. Yep, we certainly are. So uh, again, an honest review of this thing. We're going to unbox it. You're going to see it for the first time. Uh, we've not even taken out the package yet. Uh, so hopefully this will be a fun, interesting, and educational video. Watch this work. All right, guys, so we're gonna unbox this thing live on camera. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Go for it. I'm sure it's protected with something. Oh, oh yeah. A box in a box. That's what we like. That's right. Forty-nine pounds. Take two. Oh yeah, with the knife. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's a cardboard right there. Well packaged. And another box. I'm going to assume that is the protective cover that yeah, you can it store it in. Or something to store it in. Yeah. Maybe like in your trunk. Oh wow. Wow. Nicely packaged. Uh, it is inflatable, so we do have an air pump. Some parts. Those aren't important. Yeah. I wonder if uh, there's some instructions in here, but you know what we do with those anyway. Yeah, we don't need them. We toss them. Yeah. So, first demonstration, I think it's gonna be on the Tesla, right? And we'll yeah. move something different size in here and try to put it on that. But this is the medium. It's offered in several different sizes. We're gonna put a link in the description to pick one up on Amazon. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see what it takes to get this sucker installed. Oh yeah. This is how we roll our quartz up around here. We just throw them in the building. Um, and this one is a good one too. Uh -huh. That's not a kink or a, a cut in the wire, that's just a holder. So. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. So we're going to plug this inside and then we're going to try out our, looks like an air mattress like pump for a, a bed or something. It does. So 110 volt, I would say it's, it's all we need. Maybe a pitfall, you know, if you potentially don't have a power source in the storm, uh, but I'm sure you can run this off of an inverter with a car yep. battery or something like that. They probably make something similar. So. Yeah, it's a 130 watt, so not too bad. We're going to try it out and make sure she works. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Air dryer. <laughs> Plenty of power. All right, we've read the instru instructions. We're just going to show you what they mean. Here they are. They're on the cover. This says front. We nailed it. So this has to go over, right? Yeah. It does. Right here in the rail, and here in the rail. Like underneath the car? Yeah. Gotta throw them under? I, yeah. I guess. One goes around the back, and then the two in the middle, and one on the trunk. 
These are little pouches that holds the straps. So these go underneath the car and then on the other side there's a clip. Clips it into it that way it doesn't, you know, get wind underneath it, blow it up. We had a friend that used a brick. Yeah, he used a brick to strap it down and guess what? The wind picked the brick up and they landed on the car. Yep. Alright, so we inflated the other side just to kind of figure it out, but this is like a check valve. So you insert that right there, tighten it down. So that once you inflate it, it won't all your air won't come back out. We'll insert the inflator here. Hit the switch. That's it. And there's uh, three bladders to inflate. Is that right? I uh, think. Four maybe four? four. I think there's one on the hood that's separate. Okay. So the <laughs> top may get one, the hood may get one. And we did notice it does say on here not to over inflate, but you can audibly hear a difference in the pump when it seems to be inflated to its its max. Yep. Um, I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but you can definitely hear it in person. So that's a good indicator when you need to stop. All right, you guys can see we got it pumped up. We got a, looks like a DeLorean now. We're going back to the future, right? <laughs> so, yeah, where's that flux capacitor on this yeah. thing? I think he just found it. So uh, the only thing we got left to do, I think, is to strap it down, right? So yeah. we'll throw these underneath it. There is what, one, two, three, four of these to throw underneath it, kind yeah. of get it strapped down. That should help protect it from the, or keep it on there from the wind. Yeah. So we're gonna strap it down. We'll show you what it looks like. We got it all put on there. It's strapped down. It's not going anywhere. It's protected. So we'll give you a couple pan shots. It does look like a DeLorean now. So that's that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I don't, you know, installation was fairly easy. Yeah. The longest part was probably to inflate the center section probably took the longest. And you know, your air pump doesn't have to stay on there. That's just to get it inflated. So uh, it should be good to go now. All right, guys, we took it off already inflated just so we could show you inside the liner. You can see the big middle section here. And this stuff's super soft, right? It is. It is. It's definitely not scratching anything. And then you've got the two side sections that are separated from the middle. So it's really like nice a, construction. It's just like a big bubble. Yeah. It's like a jump house for kids. Yeah. <laughs> We could we could try that out too. <laughs> jump, jump <laughs> bouncy on. house, yeah. <laughs> what is it with inflatables in us? You know, I don't know. Maybe it's just our thing. But so far, this is uh, there. I, even looking at it without doing anything, I don't believe there's any question that you could drop a you could drop something substantial from a pretty good height, and it's probably not gonna hurt anything. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot more protected than I expected. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we'll uh, we'll do something else, and then we'll do our experiment to see what really happens. Yeah, I think so. Of course, you know, the instructions say to blow it up on the car. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, just from doing that, it seemed a lot easier 
It's blowing it up and having it blowed up off the car. Yeah. That's super simple to install that. I don't know. I'm not going to deviate from the instructions. Either or is fine. This just took us it, not as much time. I mean, it took us about a minute. Not that the other way took us any longer other yeah. than the actual inflation. Yeah, and maybe it was one person, I get it. Maybe if you had one person yeah. right, to yeah, roll yeah. it on top of the car. That's true. If you don't have multiple people, uh -huh. I don't know, but that, that was super simple to put that on that way. So yeah. um, it's so, on the Lincoln now, so and it fits. Fits good, yeah. yeah. So Lincoln, a little bit bigger car, but uh, it still fits fine. Yeah. And now we're going to give it some tests. Yeah, so experiment we're, we're, we're going to simulate a hail storm and we know there's no hail damage on this car because we fixed it that's right yeah and you never know what it's going to rain it could rain cats and dogs so we're gonna we're gonna yeah. try a few different things yeah you never know what's flying around in a tornado you know what i mean <laughs> that's right we're ready for our simulation right yeah we are so during the first part of the storm you usually got a couple of ice chunks Oh, that doesn't know. And then it picks up a little bit. to a little bit bigger one. And a little bit more. All at the same time. No problem for the war sign. <laughs> That, uh, that don't seem like it done anything to it. There's some velocity on that ice, too. Try not that. like it is coming from thousands of feet up in the air, but I got a pretty good arm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys are throwing that pretty good. What if we had something, you know, a little bit bigger, maybe flying around a tornado? Like this? Like a big wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully our window's not cracked. <laughs> I hit one wheel first. What if there's like a baby flying around? <laughs> like this? <laughs> oh, she's good. <laughs> she's good. <laughs> nice. Dang. Man, we'll check it out. I don't know if the window's broke or not, but I think it's good. No problem for the war sign. And I'm wondering if these right here, these, I wonder what, what do you think these do? Oh. Oh. Just access to it? Yeah, just access to the, uh, okay. to the bladder. I bet it is in the house. Yep. So, um, right here's one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and open that one. It's okay, actually, we took that off, and now we take out the... You could even move that in there mm -hmm. now to hold it. And don't hold me this, but you might be able to put the air pump on there backwards. I think it had a place to put it on there backwards and suck the air out of it. Yeah, we can. We can certainly try. Or we can roll it up like we do all of our pink boots. Yeah, yeah. Lay on it. This is probably going to be a little easier to put in. Just not, unfortunately, it's not going to be fun in the rain. You have to break those two apart. Now you can rotate the bottom one. Logan's got this one out. Hey, maybe we should have left it on. Looks like it's going to come a hailstorm. Yeah, it might. It's cold enough, too. I think it's like 46 today. There was 80 the day before, and then 90, and then who knows what the weather. You probably leave this on your car while you drive. Just cut a hole through the, the front there and just drive it around like this. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and drag the air pump back there and see if we can suck the air out of it. We got most of the air out of it. We're gonna to try to flip it over here and maybe try to do it like we do our paint boots. Big reveal, huh? Yeah, big reveal. And we still have the Lincoln too, if you wanna buy it. The window busted? Look, not a scratch on it. 
Not a dent. Not a scratch. Nothing. And this is probably probably right here is where we hit, where where I hit with the tires. So as you can see, fully protected. No dents, no scratches, no problems. Four sun. Yeah. Great job. For the win. Goes in the trunk. What a jewel. Done. Not too bad, right? No, not too bad at all. I mean, that's definitely easier than rolling up a paint booth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that is the key. Roll it up once, get the air out of it, unfold it a second time, and you're good to go. I don't think we'd have got it rolled up like that with the air in a minute ago. So, no. right. One roll and then another roll and bag it up. You're good to go. Impressive. No damage. All right, guys, we want to thank War Sun for sending us this uh, inflatable car cover. Uh, if you want to see more of their products and like to see us review them, let them know down there in the comments. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Car cover did great. Yeah, I mean, look at all the stuff we threw off of it. Um, a, lot, a lot heavier than hail, right? <laughs> yeah, yes, it was. We got a, our three-wheeler, our Barbie, our can. We threw some massive chunks of ice on the roof with some velocity to oh, it. Yeah. I don't think there's any damage at all to this vehicle. Nope. So uh, we're gonna put a link in the description uh, for Amazon and right now it's $600 and then you get a 45% coupon if you click on the coupon. So yeah. you know that's a pretty good price for such a protective cover, right? Yeah. If you have a nice car and you don't have a garage, this is absolutely the way to go, I believe. You're, you're not gonna do any better. You're not gonna bring blankets out of the house pillows, yep. anything that's going to protect it like this will. So if you got a classic car, a nice car that you want to get damaged, this is the way to go. Absolutely. Yeah, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. If you like our content, you like what we do, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. See you.